came in uh, last year and he said we are now going to cut something like 600,000 to a million jobs. That really killed confidence in the economy. No, so as, yes, it did. I've got the figures to show you. And the no, Reuters, I have the figures. I, I have don't the figures. care. 76% of all statistics are made I, up. That's not. I have the figures. Anyway, <laughs> the point is this. One of the reasons why this economy is flatlining under George Osborne, and now our deficit, we have had to take out more money for deficit than we were, did a year ago because the, this this chancellor did not focus on growth. And one of the th ways to do that should have been to sustain the economy as it was at that time, right? And then let That's consumer confidence... extra jobs created by the private sector. So, so, no, so you can... You can you most can of those jobs like about were created prior... Most of those jobs were created prior to this chancellor coming in. Do you not understand in. the basic so, problem? No. Let me explain, though. The basic, the basic problem is that consumers in this, in this economy do not have any money no, to that, spend. That is, that is a function. That is not the cause. This the 66, cause is... 66% of the economy is driven by consumer spending. How are I've you going to get the economy? Statistics. The problem that we've got here is that you're, you're looking at the symptoms. You're not looking at the causes. The causes are that we as a nation were spending too much money. We were spending too much money on services that we don't need, on people that we don't need to have employed, on wasting money through public this services. Is... They do very little to help the economy. What we need to do is you need to get You're the economy back two in. different things. You're comparing to the people spend a lot of money as households, and you can say the government spent too much money. Two different things. Yes, the government can raise taxes in order to pay back its spending in the way that the households can't. So let's keep that in mind. Yes, people spend a lot of money because what happened was house prices went up for 10 years and people thought they had more money, therefore now they're going to cut back. Now here's your problem. If people keep on cutting back because they don't have any money in their pocket, this economy is not going to grow. And therefore businesses are not going to spend any money. Uh, the, businesses the question are not is whether invest. you believe that the economy is going to grow out of the basis of consumer spending, which is the mistake that the Americans made time and time again. I actually think that we've, what we've got to do is we've got to work on the basis this of the is economy. Investment. So this are we, are economy. we saying just just to summarise, because we need to get a few more papers in, we cannot spend our way out of problems. You should not spend your way out of recession. Yes, you need to get the government spending back in order. Yes, you need to do more cuts to public spending. No, we haven't cut enough. And George Osborne, no. I think, is going to have the to cut tax to make spending have made have the economy worse. Let's have a quick I mean, look at the, 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 the Guardian. It's going to get worse before still, it gets better. You know, we'll look at the Guardian, still uh, concentrating on the uh, Norway story there, the, the absolute...